So, Dwayne, I was at the game. I was wondering how much option, if any, they were going to run with you. And sure enough, the first play of the game, you run the option. Yeah. Take us through this play. So, right now, we have a four down front, one, two, three, four. And um, Michigan plays a lot of man coverage. So, we're going to do an identification with the tight end and motion him to see where the same linebacker goes. So, uh, we, we motion the tight end across and see that. It is man coverage, but instead of number seven, we see on film, go with the tight end, he stays over here. So the mic takes the takes the tight end. So once he does that, we're, we're going to motion to it. And then I see the Sam come back. So in our, our play, it's a mid zone. So JK is going to run to the left side of the offensive line. I'm reading the defensive end. And he crashes down, but it's a, it's a pressure. It's a Sam rifle. So number seven's coming off the edge. So I got to pull the ball. I'm pulling it and then I'm wrapping around for the tight end, but the tight end doesn't run the route. So I gotta basically put my put my nose down and go get some yards. Do you like this play? I like it, yeah. The the play is for the tight end, but you know, sometimes you gotta make some things happen. So I ran the ball on this one, almost got a first down. So just re read and react. And it seems to be you've run more option towards the end of the season than the beginning. Is that accurate? Yeah, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Any reason why you, you would do that? Just because um that's what we need to do to win the games. You know, a lot of teams were, a lot of teams we were playing last couple of weeks were man coverage. You know, they had to make the quarterback pull the ball to give it, get some yards. So, you know, I had to be willing to go do it. And I told the coaches to call the plays, and if I have to pull it, I'll pull it. And uh, that's what we've been doing the last couple of weeks. Your first drive of the game against Michigan, you guys go right down and score a touchdown. Take us through the reads. What do you call this play? Is it a play you run a lot? We got man coverage right here to the field. And then we have one high safety, and they got like an in and out coverage to the boundary. So the guy on the point has a tight end, and the guy over here has the first person outside, and the guy over here has the first person inside. But we're running this mesh concept, so the 28 has to cover Olave across the field, and he already is in a trail position. So at this point, we have like a six man protection, running backs in protection. We ID the mic because he liked to blitz Bush a lot, so because he's a, he's a good pass rusher. So we, we pick up him in protection, six man pro, beautiful pass protection have all day in the pocket. And then at that point, 28 is, is trailing Olave, 4-3 kid from Cali. So he, he's out. Freeze right there. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, he is the only <laughs> only person on that half of the field. Coach Day says a lot about this throw. It's the quality of the throw. Like if I throw the ball behind Chris right here, 28 can catch up and tackle him for a gain of eight yards instead of it being a touchdown. All right, Dwayne, t tell us about this play. And we see we got like a, a bracket on number two, that's, that's Terry in the slot. Okay. And we have one-on-one -on -one to the outside. So we, we're working on this play all week in practice. And uh, it just so happens that Olave is in the game. So we make the check at the line, tell the line what the new play is. I do my play action fake. I see that seven's running to the, to the field, it's man coverage. So then right now it's just 28. We've been picking on 28 so far all game. And Olave does a great route, gave him an inside jab and then at this point, he's like almost out of bounds. You see him? Right, right. I look at the safety first to see where he's at. 14. Where's the safety? Okay, 14. I find 14. Because usually it's, it's, it's to Terry first, then to the outside guy. So right. I'm, I see they're bracketed Terry. So then at this point, I'm trying to find Olave's angle. And to be honest, it really isn't an angle. So when you say angle, what do you mean? So what? like, it's like not a clear path for me to see where to throw the ball. At. Okay, gotcha. So at this point, I'm, just gonna, throw, I'm gonna give him a 50-50 chance to go catch the ball. I know that I can throw it to him inside because he's running back inside off of him getting pushed almost out of bounds. And man coverage, a lot of times the corners don't look back for the ball. Right. So I'm giving him a chance to go find it because his eyes are on me, not the corner. So at this point, he just plays basketball, plays football, goes up and gets the ball, and makes a hell of a play. This may have been my favorite play of the game because I'm watching this game live and I say, how did he know to bring him inside? <laughs> it's kind of like you throw him open. Is that yeah. the expression? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Throw him open. Yep. So Dwayne, on this play, you, you set your feet when you get the snap and then you move to the to your left, what, what makes you do that? So Michigan does a lot of stunts and twists. So they're twisting right here, twisting to the field, and uh, leaves a really big gap to my left side. And um, seven takes the first read. So then at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to, to my first read on the mesh route. So I gotta find some find some space because I feel a lot of pressure to my right. The pocket's closing a little bit to my right. Stop there. You say you feel it. Do you see it at all? Or you... I don't see. I just feel it. You so just I, feel I can it. feel a heavy pass rush to my right side, and I feel it not as much pressure to the left. So I'm finding a dead spot in the in the pocket to get a good angle to find Paris so he can see me. 
So I'm moving to my left, and then I, I wait till Paris shows me his eyes. So I don't want to, you know, throw him by surprise with a with a fast pass. So I'm waiting until he gives me his eyes, buy him some time on the route, and then it's right there as soon as he turns around. So you move to your left to avoid pressure, but also so Paris can see you? Yeah, so with a lot of, like, stopping routes, like coming back to the quarterback, when the receiver isn't looking at you, it's hard for them to get their hands right. up and their eyes up to look at the quarterback at the same time. So he's running his route. He's worried about the defender, not me. So he's trying to beat the pass rush because he has a time time clock in his head. So right. he, he's worried about the pass rush. He's getting there, and then uh, make it an easy catch for him. Wait until he gives me his eyes and his body body language to show that he's ready for the ball. And then I, that's when I throw it to him. Dwayne, one of the most impressive things for me about watching you play, especially in this game, is you seem oblivious to the pressure. You just are so cool in the pocket. And this is an example. I, I mean, I'm watching this on my own saying there's thousands of pounds of <laughs> humanity around this guy. And I don't even know if he sees it. Tell me what's going on in your head as this pressure is pushing up towards you. So right now, Michigan's showing a bare front defense. So there's five guys down. And number seven right here has a tight end man-to-man -man coverage. He's showing blitz, but he has a tight end. So there's one-on-one -on -one blocks all over the field right now. So we're recalling another another mesh concept, getting a pick route, and then getting a, a pivot route with KJ to the to the boundary. So my first read is going to the field to the running back. He's covered. So then I'm buying KJ time. I'm trying to look off 23 to make him think I'm running the mesher to the field. And then I'm just sitting back there calm, cool, and collected because my line's pretty good. So. Right now, Winovich does a good job rushing, and then number six doing a good job rushing on there. And they're trying to close the pocket on me, make it feel like the pocket's really condensed, and, and it is, but. So, but your eyes are downfield. Your eyes aren't looking at the protection. I don't, I don't look at the protection, but I, I can feel the pressure. So, I mean, they're doing a good job kick-stepping and blocking, and they're, they're picking it up pretty nice. But they're trying to close the pocket. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make me feel the pressure, but they, they can't. But, but. How did you learn this? I, I mean, the natural reaction, I would think, is to worry about the pressure, worried about getting hit. So, so how did you get to this point? Yeah, so, I mean, growing up with my Pop Warner teams, my dad used to make me work out all the time. We would do, like, bags, like, people rushing, fake simulation of just, like, the pocket because you can't really, like, teach this moment. Like, it just, right. you just got to be able to feel it. So, like, it helps when you have guys like Bosa and, and Hubbard and Taekwon Lewis and – all the DNs that come through here, <laughs> and they're all on you all day in practice. In, in fact, it gets a little annoying because they, they, they yell out sack, but they can't touch you. But They you, can't touch you, they right? They can't touch they you, can't yeah, touch but you. No, uh -uh. you feel how, how fast the pocket closes. So, I mean, when you get to the game, you're used to it because you have the best D-line in the country, and they just close the pocket. But you know that you have a little bit of time even though they're condensing it. So, Dwayne, is this a design draw play or is this a scramble? This is a scramble play, so... Right now we're in, in a six-man protection. So during all weekend practice, we've seen that 59 is a blitzer. This guy right here, 59 is a blitzer. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm going to slide the protection right to pick up 59 and 10 because Bush blitzes the running back. So then instead of blitzing 59 the way they usually do the tendency, they, they bring the boundary pressure. So they bring 12 and they bring 28. So then it's and at this play, it's like I got to get out of it because there's no protection for me for the boundary, so I didn't want to take a hit. So as soon as I realized that it was boundary pressure, I just wanted to find a soft spot in the in the protection to get back to the line of scrimmage, and then I just decided to take off and get some yards. Every time we talk about a pass play, you go to protection first. Yeah. How how long did that take you to get a feel for that? That had to be different than the high school experience, right? Oh yeah, for sure. So I got a funny story. Um, I met Coach Day in high school. He was at Boston College. So um, I was a sophomore in high school, and in my in my high school, I didn't have responsibility of protections. My my offensive line did. So I had no idea about anything. So he's asking me questions, and I'm just like, well, the line picks that up. Or, <laughs> well, the, the guard's supposed to get that guy. And I had no idea. So funny story, Coach Day comes to Ohio State. I don't, I don't know how it happened, but he came here. So I already knew him previously. So that's all we worked on in the offseason was just protections, getting the right plays, getting the right looks, handling, handling responsibilities. So all we can practice, we can see all these looks by Michigan, and we're trying to figure out a way to pick it up. So I'm like, well, 59's over here to the boundary showing blitz. I got to slide it to the right. So it's a four-man slide to pick up these four guys right here, and I'm hot off of the corner and the, and the backer. Both of them come. So it's like I got to save myself from taking this hit. So I feel it. I feel the presence. I see the, the tackle does a good job squeezing down and picking up the linebacker. So I just, I just run right behind him. So you knew because the corner 
was coming that it was a bad play. Yeah. You weren't protected. If I if I I knew the corner was coming, if I sat in the pocket right here, well he also got tripped up by, by Terry. But if I was sat in the pocket right here, it'd been a clean clean shot at me. And this was a this was a defense you weren't expecting. I was expecting field pressure, not right, boundary pressure. Right. So you weren't expecting the boundary pressure. No, so, I wasn't so right away, pressure. you you had the answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So Dwayne, one of the few times I think you correct me if I'm wrong, one of the few times in the Michigan game where there were no open receivers, mm -hmm. this looks like one of those plays. So how do you go from finding maybe no open receiver to to running the ball? Yeah. So I mean, all game we've been getting a lot of mesh. A lot of mesh plays working, a lot of successful mesh plays, and getting guys across the field on man-to-man -man coverage. So, usually all game, and all game, 28's running with number one, and he's like making this wheel route a lot easier for me to throw the ball. So he, he zones off on him, and takes takes takes. So you so you know it's zone right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. It's a combination of like a combination man, a man and a zone. Man and zone. Okay. So he's taking number five which is a running back, Mike Weber, and um, the crossing route isn't there. You see how there's people waiting for the crossing route. Seven's waiting there, 24's running with them. Probably because they've been hurt by it. <laughs> all, all game. <laughs> all so game. they're waiting for me. I'm making the read. Ben's not open, and then KJ's pretty covered, and then Luke gets caught up into 36. And then the protection has been great all, all day. It breaks down a little bit here. So I'm just trying to save my old line so they don't get any sacks in the day. <laughs> so... I just make make a play right here at my feet. I see I see number uh, two. He's my class. He's pretty good, pretty good three tech. So I'm making this read side side in the pocket to buy my guy some time because he's been giving a lot of a lot of open open gap to the field. So I'm running, making the read, and it's not there. He tries to grab me, and right here I just make a play, get the first down. So 62 points. Yeah. How'd that happen? <laughs> Great execution, man. That's all I got. You got to make plays versus these guys, and they don't they don't allow too many many plays. So when we got the plays in the game and make them work, we made them work. That's how the score came up, sixty two points. Terrific. Well, this has been great. I have learned a bunch. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had a player explain as well as you did today. Thank you, and I appreciate it. Hope I didn't tell you too much. No, nope. <laughs> Coach Meyer does too. Thanks, Greg. <laughs>